Welcome to DSA Canva training. We'll be taking you through the basics in this tutorial with all the information you need to get started with your chapter. You can find the links to resources in the video description below. First, we're going to open the DSA design guide along with Canva. The design guide, located at design.dsa.org, is a great resource that includes all of our branding materials, logos, fonts, colors, and more. If you click around here, you can see a ton of resources. Here we've got different versions of the logo, ratio guides, things to avoid. We also have all of the fonts that we use, including Manifold DSA, which was designed expressly for use by DSA, and alternative fonts. There are also design examples, color palettes, and much more. So this is a good thing to have open for reference while you're creating designs on Canva. To start, we're going to set up a graphic from scratch on Canva. You can choose your design type in the upper right hand corner under create a design. For this, we're going to select Instagram post. This creates a 1080 by 1080 square. Canva optimizes dimensions for each graphic. So whether it's a social media post, flyer, banner, you name it, you can search for it. And in this case, we wanted to do an Instagram post. So it is optimized as a square. For reference, you can also select custom size and choose your own dimensions. Let's head back to our Instagram design. For starters, let's choose a background. On the left-hand menu, I'm going to hit background. Preloaded into Canva are all sorts of background types. We have landscapes, patterns, gradients, abstract, food, textures, you name it. I'm going to select a random texture. Now, to put on top of this, we're going to add some elements. Elements in the left-hand corner, you will find all kinds of graphics, lines, shapes, etc. I'm going to select a simple square. It populates as soon as I click it, automatically uh, populates to black. Looking at this blue border, uh, when that is visible, it means you can select and resize the element. So we're going to pull it a little bit. And then we're going to click and wait for these pink lines to pop up. These pink lines are your guides. So this will tell you when you're centered, when you're not centered, super handy. So we have that in the middle. Let's say we want this to be white. Now we have a little frame going. Let's add some text. So I'm going to click on text. As you will see, there are many preloaded options in Canva. So feel free to check these out. Click on one and customize it to your heart's content. They are all fully customizable. But for the purpose of this tutorial, we're just going to click add a heading. It has populated. I'm going to drag it to the top. I'm going to write DSA Canva party. And then because this is a header, I think I'm going to make the size larger. You can do this two ways. You can either type in a size here. So I'm gonna write 85, or you can simply select the text and resize it this way. If you want to edit the way the text itself looks, other than the font, you can select your text, hit effects, and try some of these styles out. So let's say we wanted this to be hollow. Splice, echo, lift, shadow, etc. Let's go with shadow. And let's say we decided we want this text to be red. I would select it, hit text color, hit this red. Terrific. Now I'm going to add a subheading. I'm going to drag this to the bottom of the image. I'm going to write date. And then let's make that a little bigger. Great, looking good. There are a few things we can do to add imagery to this. Under elements, you can search for all kinds of photos, graphics, illustrations, et cetera, including video. 
Uh, let's say I wanted to try and see what comes up with my type party. We have all these options. Many of them are super customizable as well. Let's say for simplicity's sake, we're going to just use some of this clip art. I've clicked on this image, centered it. Maybe I wanna add a fire, firework as well. Maybe I wanna add some balloons. Resize those. Make sure everything is centered. All right, so what is this design missing? We definitely wanna add our logo. So let's head over to design guide, national identity, logo, and look at the different versions that we can download. There is a logo download folder. And here we have the main logo. There are three different formats. For this purpose, I'm going to choose PNG. And I'm going to choose this black and white logo. Hit download, head back to Canva, select upload media. Once it's uploaded, you can click on it. It will populate and you can customize it however you like. I encourage you to spend some time with the design guide. It will go over all of the basics, including design examples, all of our fonts, all of our color palettes, and how to properly use our logo, which is very important. While we're on the subject of fonts, I'm going to talk about creating a simple, easy to use DSA branding kit. I'm going to hit styles, then create your own style. And from here, I can add a brand kit. So I'm going to do test DSA kit. Here I would upload any and all DSA logos I wanted to use. Again, you can pull these from design.dsa.org. Here I can add my color palette, which is super handy. Over on the design guide, you can pull hex codes. So let's go over and see how that's done. Under national identity, I would hit color palette. And here I see the hex code for DSA red, including the pound or hash sign. I'm going to copy and paste this into this color picker. I'm going to do the same thing for as many of these as I feel like I might use for my design. So let's do one or two more. DSA black notably is not pure black. It is this very specific Xcode. So let's add that and let's make sure that we have white. Now we can look at fonts. Once you've downloaded fonts from the fonts section at design.dsa.org, you can upload them by clicking here. Once fonts are uploaded, they will show up in here. You can easily delete them if you'd like. And this all becomes part of your kit. So, if I want to have a, an automatic heading style, I can choose a specific font for that. Same with subheadings. You can come in here whenever and edit your brand kit as needed. It's just handy to have for keeping things consistent when you're creating designs. We hope you have a blast making your camera graphics and we look forward to seeing them.